Hello my friends, Catherine and Erica here from Catherine Pooler Designs. Welcome to our live stream. If you are watching on the replay, welcome. If you are watching live, go ahead and pop a comment into the chat. Let us know you're here, where you're tuning in from. Um, during our live streams, we create, we chat, and we have a whole lot of fun. So I hope you will either stamp alongside of us or just hang out and enjoy this live stream. So today, I'm ready to rock this color wheel. Today is Wednesday. It's Wednesday. And we're gearing is it up. February 3rd? I don't know. Oh, you know what? We missed Groundhog Day. Yesterday was Groundhog Day. We missed it. Many, many, many years ago, I was in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania to see Punxsutawney Phil. You stay up all night. It was snowing. It was the worst night of my life and also the most fun I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is not a thing. What the worst night of your life, and it was the most fun you've ever had. Does that make sense to anyone? Is anybody with me on that? I don't get it. <laughs> it. I don't get it. I was very miserable in moments, but looking back, it was <laughs> miserable quite moments. an adventure. Why were you miserable? Because we were outdoors, and it, and out, and it was all night. And then we'd be in like a bar for a while and then back outdoors and it was snowing and I was tired and grouchy. <laughs> I don't like the cold. But, that would be but when we got to the end and the big ceremony for Punxsutawney Phil, that part was fun. So you had to go through really hard things to get to the greatness. And they had to climb, basically climb a mountain to get to the... To the ceremony. Has anyone else <laughs> been to the ceremony for Puxatawney Phil? Puxatawney, Pennsylvania. Mostly I know about that because of the movie Groundhog Day. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, the color wheel. So you are going to want to head over to our website. If, um, well, no, not if. You are here on YouTube with us. Look down in the description of the video and you will find the link to this. this is the color okay? It doesn't look a little blue. Um, I can adjust it. I don't know. It looks blue on my phone, but it looks good in yeah, the Yeah, let me see what it looks so like know. on the computer here. So you go ahead and head over there, download this, print it out twice, cut out the center, and then poke a hole, put a little brad, and then you've got your little color wheel, and you can turn the center to make your different color combinations. So we have done several videos on this so far. We've done some Facebook live streams teaching you how to use this color wheel on your card making projects. It has all of our party colors. We've been asked um, a couple of times, once or twice, <laughs> when we're coming out with the spa color wheel. That will be later this year once we release another set of spa inks. So it's coming, it's just not ready yet. Uh, so we've been focusing on the party. So the way this works is you have your reds. So these are all four of our reds in the party collection. The party collection is our bright, vibrant, very highly saturated colors. They were all created to go together. When you do layering stamps, you can use this color wheel to figure out what colors you're gonna layer together. So it's a girl is your lightest, then party dress, rock and red, and cranberry fizz. And when you do multi-step stamping, those are gonna layer perfectly together to give you a gorgeous pink red flower or whatever image you're stamping. We move to the red oranges, which are corals, orange, orange, yellow, 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 green, 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 blue, and blue, green. In this section, we're big turquoise fans, so we have a lot of those. <laughs> We do like them. Blue. You guys are big blue violet fans. Erica, I think we might need some more blue violet because our friends love we will blue get violet. some more blue violet. <laughs> violet and red violet. I think my favorite is the blue greens and the red violets. I'm a sucker for flirty fuchsia, pucker up, and be mine, let me tell you. Uh, when you're ink blending, um, this chart is going to help you too. You can use analogous colors. So those are the ones right next to each other on the color wheel. They're going to be great for like ombre effects and florals and things like that. Uh, we have a YouTube video on that. And then you have your triad. So that's three colors that you can use together. So red, yellow, blue. 
can turn it. Red violet, then you're gonna to wanna to choose orange yellow, and then green blues. If you are starting with drive-in and serenade, go ahead and grab your grass skirt, lime ricky, garden party, melon ice, and your samba, coral cabana, and do -si do Today we're talking about tetrad. I wanted to start with my red violets. So I grabbed flirty fuchsia, pucker up, be mine, tutti frutti, orange twist, bellini, grass skirt, lime ricky, garden party, melon ice, and suede shoes, something borrowed in, it's a boy. I have a lot of ink right here. Can you, let me. You could be a little higher. Let me scoot up a little. How's that? Lovely, lovely. Lovely. Um, you do not have to use all of these inks on one project. In fact, you probably do not want probably to. Shouldn't. <laughs> it's a lot. So on today's projects, we're gonna show you how to use them on a card and how to choose what you're going to use. Will you grab my water? Of Do you course. Mind? How to choose what you're going to use. How to choose what you're going to use. So I have a couple cards planned. We're going to talk through them as we go. The first thing, which card am I making first? I think I'm going to make that the other one. <laughs> Oh, I'm making the other one first? Oh, sorry. Yeah, make that one first. Make that one first. I can make the other one first. Okay. <laughs> I thought I would use the Perfect Blend stamp set first. I love it. It's a classic. It's a classic. I our Celebrate Friends SOA. Also grabbed um, Marty, uh, Bourbon Street. Is this Bourbon? No. No, that's Miami, that's maybe? maybe? Okay, Miami, Bourbon Street, and Paisley Park are some sequin mixes that are gonna go with our red violets. We have Phoenix that is gonna go with the oranges and reds. We have Glacier Bay and St. Cloud. I don't have stickers on all of my sequins that are gonna go with your blues. Um, we probably have more. These are just the yeah. ones that I got my hands on first. Mistletoe, it has some red in here, but it has ridiculously awesome greens come on and Boston are gonna go with your greens so I pulled those because I know I'll be wanting to use some sequins I'm gonna push these kind of aside a little and move this out of the way so I did some die cutting first I have a bunch of cups and what's this thing called it's a coffee grinder coffee grinder and mm -hmm. what's this Percolator? That's a percolator. I'm so glad you helped me with my words because sometimes <laughs> they're hard. <laughs> or it could be like a cafetiere. We also have, what's this called? That's called the dotted zig cover blade. Thank you. Uh-huh. That's <laughs> wonderful. It's wonderful. I'm also going to use magnetic messages for my sentiments. So let's stamp a few of the cups. This stamp set is fun because it has these little kind of retro little uh, doodads to stamp on your cups. So that's where your multicolor is going to come in play because you could do this in like melon ice or garden party and then do the second stamp in lime rookie or grass skirt. You know it's going to be gorgeous. I didn't cut a piece for the back of that. Just a card layer size would be great. So let's Not see. Not trim down a full, full, right? Full. Yep. Because I'm going to do this, and we had already decided, right? Erica and I were talking about colors before we got started here. I think I'm just going to go ahead and stamp some of my cups first. Okay. And then we'll have like <clears throat> cups to look at. When you're there using you four colors, it's it can get tricky. That's a good word. It can get tricky. So it's a little bit harder to figure out balance for your colors. When you're using one, an analogous or two colors together, it's a little easier to balance the colors because there's only one or two of them. But when you have four, it takes a little bit more. You need to re-ink that. Yeah. I also think I have some debris on my stamp. Debris. Debris. <laughs> oh. So I have my Nuvo stamp cleaner. I'm going to spray it on here. I also just realized I need my over coffee ink pad. Thank you. 
can I see the it's a boy? Sure. I'm going to re-ink him over yonder. Over yonder. <laughs> and then we'll take this stamp. I'm going to go straight to the suede shoes on this one. And am I pulled out a little too far now that I'm... Oh, I think you're fine. Am I good? Okay. So blue. So while I'm stamping these, how is everyone today? What is happening? Um, also, I should mention, when you are doing your color combination, depending on what kind of look you're going for, if you're going for a bold, bright look, you can use all of the dark colors from the combination. So Tutti Fruity, Flirty Fuchsia, Suede Shoes, Grass Skirt. So that's what this is going to look like. And that is going to be a very bold statement on a card. You might also want to mix and match shades like that for some variety. Or maybe you're making a card that you want a softer look. So then you can go for all the light shades. You can see how different the feels are depending on whether you go light, dark, or you mix them up. Oh, Diane's saying that some people were having trouble finding us. Is that because we ref you refreshed that link, didn't you? Yeah. Do you so, want to um, like click share, yeah. grab the, oh, just do it right on Facebook. <clears throat> Thanks, Diane, for the heads up and helping. Yeah. Let's see. Let's move to grass skirt. And guys, let us know if, if the <clears throat> sound is okay. I know... Um, Last night, apparently, it was a little off balance, and usually you guys tell us. <laughs> no one told us. No one told us. And then I saw somebody comment that it was hard to, hard hear, to hear me you. and not Erica. Um, Everyone knows I'm loud. Yeah, I could have adjusted that for I'm you guys. I'm good at projecting. I'm so sorry. Now look at how cute that is. This will be mine. Oh, Betty, sorry to hear about your uncle. Mm. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Sound is good. Thanks, Rhonda. Wonderful. Okay, sequin bundles, Rhonda. I'm I'm trying to take in your suggestion. She wants sequin bundles? Uh I think what she's saying is like a monochromatic mix, maybe that go like ones that go with each of the colors. Mm. That's a little, that's a cool idea. It's mm -hmm. a little tricky because um, that we can't, boy. they're kind of coordinated. They're like representational, but mm -hmm. we don't necessarily have uh, a color sequin that goes with every uh, individual ink color. But I like what you're saying there. I'm going to put some thought into that. And we are looking at doing some that are a little bit more monochromatic. We've done a couple. Yes. So we I are, love the we are working on mixes. that as it feels. You guys are digging the monochromatic mixes? Mm. I feel like my stamp might have been a little bit dirty. Let me try that again. Bellini is, I mean, look at how bright that is. This is the epitome of a party color right there. Mm. <laughs> I was extra excited last night. She, th she thought I was just loud because I was extra excited. I was excited too. That hmm? was really fun. <laughs> I think too. I might have been closer. I'm closer to my um microphone when we're doing that. Eight different jars. Right. Yeah. That would be a little tricky, but I really do like. I like the idea, Rhonda. Okay, so I have four in the four colors, and they. That looks fantastic, you guys. If that doesn't scream party, I don't know what does. Now I need to do the little, you guys, anyone know what this is? I'm going to tell you. It's coffee. <laughs> it is the coffee. So let's grab the over coffee. And I saw somebody once, this is hilarious. She was like, over coffee? I'll never be over coffee. And I was laughing because I never thought of it that way. Because <laughs> when we named this, we thought, you meet a friend over coffee, right? That's kind of what we meant by it, but I was laughing when she said that. I always I thought see. about like, pour, when you pour, I always thought about like, 
when you pour something over something, like oh, like pouring your coffee. I don't know. What up? Now, I now it doesn't it. make sense what I was thinking. So you meet I'm, a friend over coffee. Yeah. Oh, that looks so good. I think this ink pad needs to be re-inked too. That um that color contrast really helps tie that together as well. Oh, it looks fantastic. The bad news is you don't have a re-inker for over coffee over here unless it's just in the wrong place. It's possible. Either scenario. Oh yeah, that's looking good, you guys. I don't see one. Sandcastle and icing on the cake. So let's put these up here to kind of hold. And I had a scratch piece of paper. Oh, Farley said you could use that as a saucer. Smart. Cute idea. So Erica wanted me to go ombre with this. So I'm gonna do light. Oh, is my daughter here? <laughs> I hear Anna. Don't worry guys, we'll, we're, we'll never get over coffee. <laughs> and then I think I'm going below. But we like again. to hang out over coffee. Yes. And oh, that looks phenomenal. Oh, pretty. See? See? How fun? So should I do this up on foam tape so it's... You get a little bit shadow? Yeah. The, I mean, it really either way is... The detail is so small, I don't know if you'd be able to notice that it was... Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Let's just let's just adhere it straight to. I think I would. Just adhere it? Just adhere it. So pretty. So has anybody been using the color wheel and tell me what kind of color combinations you've fallen in love with that you've not thought of using before? I like to hear that. So I also, think this tool is so useful. If you thought that the background piece felt a little bit too bold, this is a great way that using cover plates is like so fun and smart because you really can get a lot of color going on there, but it's a subtle. It looks more subtle with the cover plate over top. So I dig that. We can dig it. <laughs> can y'all dig it? I was going to stack them up. That's so cute. It's really cute. And I was thinking, do I do like a little carafe? Oh, is this a carafe? Um, no, you actually <laughs> brew the coffee in it. I'd put them in oh. rainbow order. Who wants it in rainbow order? But you and who can wants do it in funky not? monkey order. As you can well. do yours in rainbow order. I could do mine, Daniel. <laughs> Daniel, where are you, bro? <laughs> I haven't seen you lately. <laughs> <laughs> I. Okay, so when you're doing this, you want to choose a main color. So my main color is orange. So I want to get, I want to see what happens when I get a little bit more orange in there. Let's do orange twist, which is one color that my daughter, she's grounded now, you guys. She said, maybe we need to retire orange twist in Tiara. Well, that was Elena, not Anna. Anna's here. She's too Hi, orange to be grounded. Anna. Hi. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. Did you come to pack some boxes? Yep. Wonderful. Do you believe what your sister said on live last night? What? That we might want to think about retiring. Orange twist. Orange twist. Why orange twist? And tiara. She, she said she didn't like the packages. <laughs> <laughs> she was just being a silly sausage. Silly. I don't know. What do we think? I kind of liked it tipped towards the cup like you're pulling. It could be kind of, that's kind of fun. Like that? Yeah, that's kind of fun. Like you're pouring it down. Down the stack of cups, uh -huh. and then put your sentiment on there somewhere. And what was I going to do for the sentiment? I was going to do magnetic, magnetic messages. messages. Okay. I think I would go with your initial idea now. So stamp this in black mm -hmm. from the bottom of my heart and put it at the bottom cup. Guys, can we just give Catherine a round of applause for what just happened? <laughs> Nicely done. It's hilarious. Yeah, okay. Joanne's saying that she would consider that an espresso maker. And yeah, you put it on your, you put it on the hob and you on the it hob? up. And it's got stuff inside and you put the coffee inside. And so, yeah. What's I thought you hob? could do, oh, the stove. I thought you could do um, 
Are you English talking? Sorry, I didn't mean to. I think you <laughs> could do it. I thought you could do it for. It's like an Italian coffee maker or coffee <laughs> press. So anyhow, we got some inspiration from a coffee shop actually in the UK for that set. True story. <laughs> Oh, Eric, I love you. And Lisa Kirkbride, who lives in, in the UK, UK, illustrated it. So she'd be on my t- on my team with that one. So, okay. Because I remember it, working on it. We can call it the hob when we're using this. Well, uh, you even know. though I had no idea what that was, <laughs> but that's how you get educated, right? Last night somebody said... Um, Stove top, the range. What, what did Patty say about getting educated on the, on the lives? You oh. never know what we're going to talk about. It's true. It's true. And, you know, we try to be diverse. So <laughs> there are a lot of customers from a lot of different places. So it's fun to learn new things and new lingo. Yeah. New lingo. You guys, I don't know if I'm feeling this orange carafe or percolator or whatever we're going to call it. Espresso maker. I don't know if I'm feeling it. I was having mixed feelings about it, but I have a suggestion for a solution. What if we do it in an embossing powder that's kind of like a coppery, orangey kind of color? And I have one in mind. Okay. We'll give it a shot. It might not work, but here's what I was thinking. Aztec glitz. Hmm. Because it will look like a copper... Pot. Maybe. You're scared yeah, of that. Yeah, I'm scared of it. Do you want me to get you copper? I am wondering if I want to go down the road because I have two more cards to make. Okay. We, well, we could. One. Oh, okay. And we could press <laughs> pause on it. And you guys, also another thing I wanted to tell you today, card making. They're usually silver. And because I think this is precious. Card making and art. Think about what is eye-pleasing to you. Um, you know, when we are stamping together, I ask you guys opinions a lot. I don't always listen to your advice. But that's okay because everybody has something that pleases their eye a little bit different than the other. So some of you might be thinking, who, girl, I am so glad you're not putting that orange percolator on there. <laughs> and others of you are like, put on the percolator. It was cute. It actually is really cute. Um... It is just whatever is pleasing to your eye. You know what I'm saying? And then our main color is orange, so let me grab a couple orange sequins. Maybe there's and some on there. in Cincinnati. Erica, we need oh. more orange. Like There's some in Mystic, and there's some... I think yeah, these aren't orange enough. The, those are... That's a spa mix, though. Where's your Cincinnati? I don't How know. How come you haven't got any... Cincinnati. Um, there's some little orange ones in Des Moines, but probably not what you're needing. Oh, there's some little flowers in there. That's cute. Ah! No Cincy! Oh, actually, this looks really cute. <laughs> For all of those who are from Ohio, we're just so upset about your lack of Cincinnati. <laughs> We've got a whole shelf of Cincinnati out there. We do. Right on the other side of this door. We'll get one more orange. There. Oh, yeah. That's adorable. Did you get it? That's adorable. So cute. It is cute without the, the pot. I think that works. And, you know, that's the thing. When you're doing these things, if you find that something isn't working for you, just don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm going to give Erica all of my stamps to put away. Sure. That would be absolutely wonderful. They need to be cleaned. Yes. And then next, I'm excited about this next one, you guys. Ooh. So I have... I mean, I was excited about this one, too. I'm, I'm excited, excited about here. all of them. Okay. So let's set, that, let's set that aside over here. Um, going to use... So, hold on. I was... Ins- I am inspired by this. 
This is our friend Debbie. Debbie! She was on our Stamp Nation live crafting Zoom on Friday. And she shared, she made this card and she shared it with us. She got her color palette from the color wheel. And I was so excited about how she used three rows of hearts with the pinks. And then she went on to the other three colors. And I thought that was a genius way to use the Tetrad color combination. So I am going to case that. And she said different. she cased Twice. her her idea for that card but she picked her color scheme from the color wheel and now we're gonna case that idea as well so this is the month in circles stencil if you are a club canvo subscriber this is on its way in the mail to you now it was created to quickly and easily make a calendar in your bullet journal i'm gonna use it in a different way that i'm super excited about I'm gonna use Finishing Touch Stamp Set and this little fun heart. Don't forget to check out all the little things that we add into these stamp sets. So I'm gonna do just what Debbie did. I'm gonna use Be Mine Pucker Up and Flirty Fuchsia first. Did Daniel use Cincinnati Diane recently? Are you thinking he sold us out of them? <laughs> um, and Patty really loved Mystic that you used last night. Melissa, we're we're doing U.S. cities at the mo. That mm -hmm. doesn't mean we won't get beyond that at some point in time. So we'll keep Canada in mind. We still haven't done um, a city from each of the states just yet, and we have duplicated a couple. It's hard. It gets harder. <laughs> it gets harder. Yeah. It was a fun challenge, but. <laughs> okay. And then sometimes we say, whose idea was that? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't used Pucker Up yet. We're going to set that aside. Nice. I'm moving on to um, Orange Twist Bellini Tutti Frutti. I think I'm going to go for the Orange Twist. And then, oh, that looks good just like it is. Could you toggle it? That's what I'm, yeah. Oh, okay. So then I'm gonna stamp in the center. I mean, even with your, potentially with that uh, mm -hmm. stencil. Yeah, I could have taken that and gone like that. Yeah. I like put that, depends on what's easiest for you. Just because I would have trouble lining that up, so I, you're better at that freehand than I would be. Okay, so I used, I haven't used blue or green yet. I think I'm going to go with the, uh, I don't know, something borrowed or suede shoes, and I want to use melon ice. Diane, you are going to love the new collection that's coming out next Wednesday. What is she saying? Do we think that she'll like it? And we're going to tell you all about it on Friday. Um, and then, does anyone have a vote for... Oh. Oh. I missed that, and that is butamous. What? The melon ice. Yeah. And if I want to keep this centered, now I have no room for the blue. Unless you stamp it off of the... I was thinking I could do it here. Yeah. But then, what do I do up here? Um... <laughs> I don't know. So I'm trying to think of they some voted other first, they're voting. Something borrowed. Suede shoes, suede shoes. But that was before you put the mm -hmm. pretty old. Because we could I if I have a small polka dot, I could do a little blue polka dot in between each of the hearts. What do you oh, think about that? Oh, you have a baby heart there, which is like also I cute. think I feel like a mm, here. I feel like we'll a get polka him. dot. Oh, a little teeny baby And there's baby a polka heart. dot. Okay, so heart or polka dot? All right, heart or polka, like polka dot. dot. It's um, a little teeny tiny. No new inks next week. Oh. <laughs> and 
Yes, we have a Georgia sequin mix as Tybee Island. Tybee Island, which is fantastic if you've never been there. It's just near Savannah. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, goodness. I'm excited. What, what I'm doing? Yeah. Oh, that makes me happy. <laughs> they weren't sure about it, but it's too late. You've gone They weren't for sure it. about the blue nope, polka dots? No, nope. But I'm liking it. That's blasphemy. They were thinking your sentiment maybe could be in blue. And I think I would do my sentiment in your primary color that you chose. That's what I was thinking. Yep. Because I think when oh, you wait. choose Now people are four. getting on board. <laughs> we're, we're just, she had made one dot and people are like, do the dot. Go with the dot. <laughs> I think it's important for me anyway, what's eye-pleasing to me when I have four colors, having one as the main the main star of the show. So there it is. Who? There it is. Uh, and I do already have a thank you. Oh. I don't know if I'm digging that though. I think it's busy. I'm not feeling the color. Mm -hmm. I'm not either. I think I'm going. Magnetic messages. Ma magnetic messages. Thank you for being amazing. I think you are pretty sweet. I think that would look cute with the hearts. What you did is so great is one of my favorite. We're doing that. What you did is so great because I think that's adorable. <laughs> Patty says, we can't line up stamps like Catherine. No, I can't, Patty. <laughs> so I was digging the stencil idea because. Yeah. I oh, tried. I wouldn't have been able to do that freehand. Are and then it me? goes a bit wonky donkey halfway through. Wonky donkey. Um, mm. Yes, Jill, we didn't want to overwhelm you. You've got date night colors to play with right now. You can't have more just yet. What would you do with yourselves? You'd be so overwhelmed. Did you try one in a flirty fuchsia? Let's try it. I don't know which one will look best, but if you stamp them, then we can look mm -hmm. at them. All right, let's do, I think uh, I got a little spot on my stamp and oh. I missed a spot. So let me stamp it again. Okay. And then. These ones with the tiny sentiments are a little bit uh, fiddly. But they look so great. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if you don't know, our inks are super juicy. So we say use a love tap when you are stamping. So I, I would say you don't press down super hard because mm -hmm. the material of the photopolymer stamp, when you press down really hard, it, it moves. And if you press too hard, you're going to get kind of not a crisp image. So you just have to use a light touch, a couple of taps on the ink pad, and then a, and a nice firm but... Um, not too hard pressure on the paper. I know back in the day, back a long mm. time ago, I would like press the heck out of my <laughs> stamp. Beat my stamp yeah, on my I ink pad like, to get it inked up. <laughs> but, but ours these are super inks juicy. Do not work that way. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're new to them, it takes a little practice, makes perfect. But you'll get the hang in no time. And for something like this. I would, I generally with sentiment stamps tend to use my Misty because I want it really nice. And if I use that, I can do really light tap. And then if it needs to go a second go, I can do that and it's all lined up. But I'm not as good at freehanding as Catherine is. So there you go. Rhonda votes for Flirty Fuchsia. We had some other people think a blue sentiment, but I think we should stick with the main color. Um, that blue is just an accent color. Mm -hmm. That could look great as well, though. You should try it. Oh my gosh, I'm I love it. I just I just drop the drop it drop. It. So yeah, flirty fuchsia or the black. Normally I would do black. I, I like know. the flirty fuchsia. Kind of liking the flirty fuchsia. So cute. And I just have this is my favorite set of dies, the postage stamp dies. Where'd they go? You're obsessed. Yeah, I love these. They're wonderful. We also have the post this slimline. Oh. And you know That would have been cute with the cups. It would have. So these are my... I use these all the time, you guys. They're voting for Flirty Fuchsia. Okay. Well, let's do Flirty Fuchsia. And I was thinking of making maybe the back... The, the card. A color? Mm-hmm. Which it should be Flirty Fuchsia if I'm going to do that. I kind of feel like I want this in B minor or pucker up or, instead of flirty fuchsia. Yeah, or the background could be B minor pucker up. I think up. it should be the same as the sentiment. I like the flirty fuchsia. 
for the background. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do. Let's do it. I like the Florida fuchsia. So since our foam pads release ink so well, you see how quick and easy it is to make matching cardstock. So boom, just like that. Now I have cardstock that matches the ink that I used on my project. Mina prefers the black. You know, Mina, that's fine. There's obvious choices mm -hmm. always. I might slightly prefer the black, but I think the flirty fuchsia is fantastic as well. And I always go black, so I'm going to go different today. Oh, that looks nice. And then I think this needs to be up on foam tape. Oh, sorry. They really wanted to see what the blue would look like. I'm sorry, guys. I missed that. I was concentrating on something else. But maybe you could try making a similar card at home. And you could use um, the blue. They just want to see what the sentiment would look like in blue? Uh-huh. Yeah, Flirty Fuchsia is a favorite. Yeah. Yeah, that looks so good. I can stamp with some blue real quick. All right. Let me do. You used just, uh, suede oh, shoes or did here you we use go. something borrowed? I forget. I used suede shoes. Okay. Okay. So I just grabbed a little strip that's already cut. I think this is a similar size to my stamp, so I won't have to worry too much about trimming that. Oh, my suede shoes might need to be re -inked. You need to take and have a re-ink day, spa, I mean, a spa yeah. weekend for your inks. So there, if you like the suede shoes, there it is. We're gonna go with flirty fuchsia on this one. So cute. So again, kind of working with the principles of the Tetrad, you, it, the suggested idea is that you have a primary color family that you have as your star and then you come in and you highlight or accent with the other three colors. So you did two different cards with the same color schemes but you used different colors in from the families and so you got two totally different looking cards. Mm -hmm. So fun. I was thinking about one more but I forgot what I was going to do. <laughs> Well, there um, you go. Wait a minute. Maybe it was. Yes. I stamped these. And I was going to do another coffee cup. And then I was going to do. Oh, I tucked the coffee cup dies in the back of that pack. Fantastic. There you go. So maybe we use a different cup. And I was going to use this stamp. As a background. Let's see. Okay, so I'd forgotten what I was going to do here. So Diane, let's see what I just did. Diane I thinks you were going to put it on here. Use something new. <laughs> Diane, you, you, um, I will see you on Friday. Friday, Friday. So I've been using. I used orange. I used red violet. Let me go with the. garden party. I had to think for a moment. I want to put this baby stamp back. I'm going to stamp this twice. I hate it when I lose those ones. And did I pull out that guy already? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're going to do grass skirt. Oh, that's cute. Now, <laughs> Melissa says Friday's too far away. 
It's so <laughs> soon. Just day after tomorrow. Pucker up. Oh. I'm just playing. Yep. No, I like it. Something burrowed needs a bath. Not a bath. Needs a watering hole. <laughs> That's weird. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> I know. And I don't have any blue in here. Why don't we just use three? We can do that, right? Can you we can. break the rule and just use three? You're breaking the rule. It's fine. If you feel happy with the aesthetic, then you're good. It goes back to the eye pleasing. Yes, because we again, there's there's no rules in card making. We're supposed to be having fun. <laughs> yes, Brittany. Right outside the door are some brand new goodies. Oh just my! <laughs> waiting, <laughs> waiting for the orders. They're just sitting there as nicely as they can. Ah, sweet as pie. Very patient out there. Which actually threw me off today when I was looking for something. I was like, "What is this? This doesn't go up here." <laughs> They're always moving stuff. They work. They work hard in a shipping uh, team, and yeah, they do. I'm only here very fr infrequently, so whenever I come, I feel like it looks different. Mm, my coffee. I almost put the foam tape on the back of that before I did the coffee. And you guys, I put this together before putting the sentiment on. <laughs> it's always something with me. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Good try, Jill. We don't want to. <laughs> They're really pushing for sneaks today. I don't know what to tell you. I, <laughs> I could do a sneak. Um, I had something in mind. I do too. Okay. It's probably so, two different things. Um... <laughs> I know what you want. One of those, but different. Will you give me that? No, will you give me that box? The box? Give me, give me the box. There's something in the box I want. I don't feel safe giving you that box. <laughs> okay. Oh, Hold no. On. Hold on. You guys, you've obviously, you've worn her down. Oh, my goodness. Go for it. <laughs> Oh, he is cute. Oh, my gosh. What is he doing? He is being adorable. He is being adorable. <laughs> okay, now I need to get the stamp to go with that. You guys wore me down. And Erica is shuddering in the corner right now. <laughs> They're saying, give her the box. <laughs> I think he's going to be black and white. He's adorable. Am I right, you guys? Is he gonna have? He's he's drinking carrot coffee. <laughs> he is drinking coffee. No, he's just poking his head out of the coffee cup to say hello. You guys, I don't have orange on here. They're going nuts. They're like, how here's my orange. I know. I was like, well, you need it's a little perfect. orange. Uh oh. Before, didn't I say I was missing blue? <laughs> but I misspoke. I <laughs> I was missing the orange, and here we go. We've got orange. Something got me. <laughs> Brittany said, a little bunny. Isn't it so cute? There's more where that came from. I'm not twitching, Diane. I actually, I had something else in mind. So you almost got double duty over here. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh you guys. What? Yeah, that was dirty. It was dirty. I will redo that. Um, <clears throat> I think if your funny friend came over for a cup of coffee, he would be nibbling on a carrot <laughs> while he was having coffee with you. I think that would happen. I feel like one of these sentiments needs to happen now. Like that? Yeah, but it's coming off the card. It's oh, you got the bait. You have the base yet to do? I do. I don't know. Let's see. Thank you. 
<clears throat> and then mm, I don't have any twine. Where's all my twine? Carrot Because I need some t oh, twine right this, around here. This might be the... Oh. Or... Is there black? Yeah, there's cookies and cream. Yeah, let's do that. I was thinking a different color. What was your primary? It was your green. Um, but I don't see... I only see the one that looks like green tea. And that's not the right way. <laughs> so you guys, we have a nice, big, wonderful, fantastic collection of products hitting the shop next week on Wednesday, February 10th. If you are a Stamp Nation member, you get to shop early on Tuesday and your orders are the first to ship out of our office. Very exciting. Um, we are going to reveal the theme on, let me glue this down, <laughs> on Friday on Facebook Live, and we're going to show you the first bundle of products. Then um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we'll show you the rest, and then Tuesday it goes in the shop for Stamp Nation mem members, Wednesday for general ordering. What's happening? Oh, Farley said he's dipping the carrot in his coffee like a biscotti. <laughs> Heather said, so take cute. my money now. <laughs> uh, no mini inks uh, for this release. Yes, the Keep speech bubble peeled. is so cute. And yes, that was a blender pen that Catherine used to make her own little marker with her CP inks. We have... We don't have this one in the shop anymore, but we have the um, Tombow ones. Mm -hmm. So those Zig ones, they don't sell anymore, but we have Tombow. And the Tombow ones have like a, a brush tip on one end and, a, and like a bullet tip on the other. And they're really cool. Right? Yeah, they're the fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's just that was the one that was closest <coughs> to me that I grabbed. And Lynn, we've got emails going out uh, from t Friday with the schedule and all the information. Um, with the times and everything for each day and where we'll be. Mm. Fantastic. You guys excited? They're making guesses on themes now. Yeah. It's a, <laughs> it's a really fun theme. Yeah. We're oh. quite chuffed about it. Me and my chuffed. Yeah, you're, you're addicted I'm, to I'm being chuffed it, now, which is totally it's a little, fine. It's going a little overboard Too much. To me. It's, it's a little much. I got you the sleigh mug for your birthday, and now I'm going to have to give you a chuffed I know. One. I was saying slay it, girl, all the time, and now I say chuffed to bits. <laughs> so I will redo the carrot, but we'll put it on there for now. Oh, so cute. What? Really fun. So there they are. There are the cards with the Tetrad color combination. <gasps> it's time for lunch. You know what? You said we have a gift card that someone gave us. I'm wondering if that place has lunch. I mean, they do have lunch. <laughs> Melissa Andrew, you gave us a Sonic gift card. Do you know Thank you so weird? much. I never eat hot dogs, but I kind of enjoy one every now and again. I don't... I know you you don't eat that's not the kind of meat that you eat but I kind of enjoy you a, a hot, hot dog, dog every I'll now get and the again. cherry limeade and drink. some chicken nuggets or something sounds good to me it's just up the street Sonic it is yeah did she know that it was so close to us she couldn't have known and unless she googled it it's close to our current location but our new office I don't think it's so close to nope. it, so we better take advantage of it now uh, that's what I was thinking you guys Things are going down. We love Cersei at our new <laughs> building right now. They are tearing tearing stuff up. Oh, Rhonda, we haven't put those cards from yesterday in in boxes yet. It'll be a surprise. So it'll be a surprise for the recipient. Mm -hmm. We have to have Hannah take pictures first. We do, <laughs> and she's not here today. Yeah, but they'll go out. I have an envelope so, made out already. April, Sonic's hot dogs are good then? The only place I ever eat them from is Snoopy's. Mm. Unless I, my mom will buy Hebrew Nationals and make them, and we eat what we call Guadalajara dogs, which is a tortilla with a hot dog, jalapenos, sour cream, and tomato. And it's delicious. That sound good. <laughs> what else should we get at Sonic? Because I I don't know if I've ever eaten them. I haven't. I haven't. I know they have milkshakes, though. Oh. All mm. different kinds. And the lime Ricky thing. Mm-hmm. The cherry limeade or oh, something yeah, okay. like that. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm going to get that for sure. She Google mapped it. 
Melissa. Are you serious? Oh, Melissa, they oh, have tater tots. <gasps> Yesterday was National Tater Tot Day. Oh. I know this because Elena informed me. Leave it to my child. I do like tater tots, too. Ooh, tater tots and a hot dog. I I'll mean, take the tater tots and the cherry limeade and maybe a milkshake. <laughs> cherry limeade and a milkshake. All right, guys. You guys, thanks for hanging out. I hope <laughs> these color wheel videos have been helpful to you. Uh, this was a series. There are four total videos talking about the color wheel, um, explaining the 101 of it. And we will not stop using the color wheel because it's a fantastic resource. I think it's like Link below reinvigorated color combo choice making. A mm -hmm. lot of times we come in and she might have one or two colors she thinks she wants to use and we literally just grab things and throw them together. But like this is kind of giving us a place where we say, hey, this is the color that you originally were thinking. Mm -hmm. Let's look and see what other options seem like good. Scientifically, what yeah. goes with it. And it's super fun. It's uh -huh. super fun. So it's making me do color combinations that are a little outside of what I normally would do. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, all of the good good suggestions here. They're telling us milkshakes, yes, tater tots, yes, cheesy tots, heck yes. I'm love it. That. Glad you guys enjoyed this. Thanks, guys. I'm getting the cheesy tater tots. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs>